Yellow Spinner, you're on Penstock, channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov and today I will show you how to do Inverse Sonic. This trick is easy to understand, easy to learn, it will take you about one evening maximum, but it will be pretty hard for you to fight your muscle memory, because I bet you're going to do Simple Sonic a lot instead of Inverse Sonic. I will tell you several tips and hints to defeat this um, issue. So inverse sonic can be done in slots 2 3 1 2 3 4 2 3 Boy this one is going to be tough so I will show you just to how to learn it in 2 3 1 2 Also you can do it palm up technically palm side and palm down and I recommend you to learn both these ways, because both of them you're going to use a lot in different combos and uh, freestyles. So, first of all, we are going to prepare mentally for learning uh, Inverse Sonic. I recommend you to think about it more of a similar to Twisted Sonic trick than to Simple Sonic. Because you change slots from 2-3 to 1-2 in front of your middle finger. So yeah, Inverse Sonic has a lot more to do with Twisted Sonic, but it is not quite the same. Take a look at this. When you're doing Twisted Sonic, you start with one of your tips. For example, here we have tip and here we have cap. So tip is at the inner side of your palm. And when you do Twisted Sonic, tip is outside of your palm, is looking uh, pointing away from you. While doing Inverse Sonic, you start with this tip from the inner side and end from the inner side of your palm as well. I mean, the tip is pointing at you. So during Inverse Sonic you do two full charges. So take your pen mod, I recommend you to learn it with a double capped center balanced pen mod. For example, this one, Flower V3, is going to be a good choice for you if you're beginner and in or intermediate pen spinner. So we take a pen mod in slot 2-3, middle finger is at the center, and also cover it with index finger. First of all, learn how to do this motion. You need to be able to place the pen mod in slot 1-3 in front of middle finger, so basically you will need to do this figure with your fingers. When you're able to do it, you just need to let the pen go further and change slot from 1-3 to 1-2. This is the basic concept of doing inverse sonic, so I strongly recommend you to learn how to do this simple movement. It's not going to take you long. And when you're able to do just like that, now let's move on to an actual trick in Versoni, because to do it as I told before, you need to do two charges and here we just do one. So we're going to start with a simple charge in slot 2-3. Take a pen mode in this position, the pen is like ortho to the floor, your hand is palm up. And while doing charge, you need to go not the full circle, but at approximately this point. When the pen goes in front of middle finger, you need to lower this finger and place pen mode in slot 1-2. So this is going to be charge, when, and when pen goes in front of middle finger, when it, when it is passing it, you need to do like this. You cover a pen mode with middle finger, with index finger and uh, move middle finger away so the pen goes in slot 1-3, in slot 1-2, just like we have been learning before. Practice to do these charge motions because more circular, more circular this trick looks, better it looks. We need to do two full charges. And when you're done with learning this trick in 2-3-1-2, just Try to do it in slots 3, 4, 2, 3. I just realized that I didn't learn it uh, in these slots and it was a uh, hell of a pain to, <laughs> trying to do it in front of a camera. In these slots, as always, you will need much more dexterity than in slot 2, 3, 1, 2. And if you don't have that much of a dexterity, I recommend you to watch my video of how to stretch and warm up before pen spinning session with simple exercises which will take you about 5 minutes a day and will drastically increase dexterity of your fingers. I wish you good luck with all that in pen spinning, may the style be with you. Bye.